All right, standing here with uh, Bullis High School, just had your, your 4x4. First place amongst uh, American competitors. I know it wasn't exactly the, the results you were hoping for, but you know, what's the, some of the positives you can take out of you know, the, this type of performance? Um, I mean, the positive is that you know, three-fourths of the team will be here next year, and we're still the fastest American team. And you know, with our best race, we know what we could have done. We could have done better. But I mean, there's plenty to look forward to, and it's just one race. We got the rest of the season left. Hi, uh, Quincy. What was going through your head in the prelim when you took that baton and you were so far back? Um, uh, I honestly knew what my team and we've been working for. I'm um, seeing them every day. We've been working extremely hard, and anything can happen. Any type of adversity can come at any minute. And I knew I just wanted to get my team into the finals. And the 44 wasn't about me. It was just my teammates bringing them together. I wanted to see us go to the next round, so I knew I had to give it everything I got. I wasn't expecting to have to run that fast, cause you never, but you never know. Anything can happen. And I told my switch my mindset from just um, cruising through in the prelims and going giving it my all, because I just knew I had to for a team. You're also able to take home the Athlete of the Meat Award. What does that mean to you to, you know, come out here, you know, with some, uh, you know, a, a nice wheel uh, and, and some uh, recognition there as well? Um, honestly, it feels amazing, you know. Uh, I was doing this all from, like, my sister and things like that. You know, she was she was basically, she uh, a major injury happened, and I just told her I was going to go out there and run it for her and my team, and basically it did, I just ran for her and everybody, and it just came. It was amazing. When did you know in that prelim? When did you know that you were gonna be able to take it? Um, I honestly, I honestly didn't know. I just given it everything I had. I've been practicing for it extremely hard. I've been put in different moments, uh, and just I just did my best, and I guess in it I was able to catch up. Yeah. The national record for high school was set back in 1985. Uh, what I think it's 309. Uh, you know, do you think that's something that you guys could end up getting? You know, at uh, at New Balance Nationals or or with the remainder of the the season here. Yeah, I mean, the national record has always been on our sites. I mean, um, that's what we train for. That's what, you know, Coach Lee puts in our heads every day. That's that's what that standard, that's standard. the standard he holds us to, and um, I think it's definitely possible. I know I tr have trust in these guys, and we have even more guys. So you, we never know what um, the team's going to be, but we have a, just a bunch of dogs on our team who are um, willing to go after it. So um, I definitely think it's possible, and uh, I'm just excited to see what we can do in the rest of the season. What do you, all, you got it. What do you all say to each other as you're preparing for a big race like this against, of course, the top Jamaican schools, against, you know, top American schools, what's the conversations like beforehand? Um, the conversations beforehand are like, the conversations beforehand are like, you know, stick is one, stay is one, you know, we're not worried about any other teams, just worried about us, you know, trying to bring it out, went home, obviously it didn't happen, you know, unfortunate, but you know, we'll come back next year harder and stronger. We've seen uh, Bullets over the years just have had a lot of very, very talented track and field athletes. What is that, you know, hard worker, that culture around Bullets that allows you guys to have such sustained success, uh, not just for your all's class, but for, for years in the past and years to come? I mean, uh, seeing like what the people that have been at Bullets have done, it inspires us and then it makes it makes you want to be, makes you want to feel like that, uh, it makes you want to leave something behind for the next group of people to come so that they have something to look up to. And it, it makes you want to put, it, put everything that you have on the track. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys. Congrats. Appreciate it.